What does a flying octopus have in common with an elastic park? I'm Larry Moss. I'm an aerogamist. I fold air in specially prepared latex containers. Larry Moss, once a street performer in New York City, is the creator of Aragami and has become a world-renowned director of incredible interactive balloon sculptures, like his Halloween-themed balloon manors in Rochester, New York. Each manor is built by Larry and a team of approximately 60 balloon artists, along with several hundred volunteers. You know, the hardest thing about this is that we have to build it in six days. The temporary nature of the medium is part of the attraction for Larry, but something else got him hooked as well. The first really large project came along in uh, 99 when I was asked to go to Japan to do something for Fuji Television. And I fell in love right then with that concept of bringing people together, teaching them what they needed to do to enjoy what was previously my art and make them a part of the piece. His next big project in Belgium set the Guinness record as the world's largest non-round balloon sculpture. Larry and fellow artist Royal Sorel used 40,000 balloons and an international team to create soccer players in 2000. There were seven languages spoken on the floor of the gym that we were working in. And giving instructions often was playing a game of telephone. In 2003, Larry's collaboration with California cluster balloon pilot John Ninamia resulted in the Flying Octopus, which was launched successfully off Sodas Point, New York. Again, the project involved a team of artists, but this time the community played a larger role. Yeah, we built this octopus about a half mile, three quarters of a mile away from the launch site because we needed to build it indoors and we needed to launch it in a big open space. So we turned this into a parade and we had dozens of people from the community carrying various pieces of the octopus. Right then and there, Larry and fellow balloon artist Don Caldwell began brainstorming. I had said, boy, it would be so cool to actually do something interactive now, that people aren't just watching from a distance, but they get to go into it. And Don looked at me and said, hey, you love Halloween as much as I do. Let's build a haunted house. Balloon Manners 2004, 2006, and 2007, while each completely different, have all been 10-room, 10 10,000-square-foot, 10, fully functional haunted houses built with 100,000 balloons. Artists come from all over the world to help create these silly, creepy, funny, weird, slightly haunted castles made entirely out of balloons. As I see it, this is the best project in the world. The manors, including 2007's Elastic Park, have received international media coverage, attracted almost 30,000 visitors, and raised more than $80,000 for local health charities. Who knows what it's going to be? I mean, every year it gets bigger and better. And we've been able to do this three times now, with a fourth one already in, planned, and, and actually it's looking like we're going to we're going to take the manor on the road. For me, the, the real excitement is being able to share it and make other people aware of, of this art form that's out there.